uplifted by the promised hope of healing and resurrection, we join the people of God in all times and all places in praying for the church, the world, and all who are in need. O God, call your people to be one as you are one. Unite your church in the truth of your gospel, the love of our neighbor, and through those that travel near and far to proclaim your name to people around the world. We ask you to bless the shepherd of our flock, Pastor Teich, the Reverend Churston Sullivan and the Congregation of Trinity in Battle Creek, and our partner Karen Anderson, serving in Santiago, Chile, as a healthcare professional. They speak, share, and spread your word and good works each and every day, and lead as an example for us all. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we are thankful for the green grass, flowers, trees, and plants that have come alive this spring, a new beginning for this season. The gift of your creation is beautiful. May we all love and care for that which you have given us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, today we pray for the world and its leaders. Guide them to work together for the good of all. Give them the wisdom and the will to work together through this COVID crisis and the process of finding a cure and a vaccine to keep the world safe. Lead them down the path of peace and guide our leaders to be fair and honest. Let's stop the pain and hurt being spread and follow your lead to a world of peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Oh God, there are trying times and events throughout the world. But today we pray for those very near to us who are suffering because of devastating floods as a result of breach dams and heavy rains. Wrap your arms around those who now have no home to go to. Those who have lost so many memories they held dear and those who were blessed with safety and no damage. Help us to realize that we were all blessed, that no lives were lost, and that we still have each other and the love you have promised us forever. Your love is something we will never lose. We are your children, and we are thankful for the close watch you keep over us all. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray today for confirmation candidates as they prepare to affirm their baptism. We ask your blessing upon Peyton Gollenbeck, Owen Holman, Madison LaRue, Cole Scott, and Brooklyn Sutter. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray today for those who are sick, scared, hungry, or hurting. May those we pray for today know the peace and comfort of your word and healing hands. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Be with all the members of our church family each day. We really miss the time we share gathering in your house to praise and worship you and worship your name. We soon will gather again and we'll sing to your glory. We also give thanks for those in our church who continue to provide the means for us to worship online each week. Our togetherness in your house may be missing today, but the love that we have for each other and you, dear Lord, will always find us together. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray and hold close all of those who are missing a loved one who has gone to live in your heavenly home. We give you thanks for the faithful examples of those who have listened to your voice and now rest with you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. With bold confidence in your love, Almighty God, 
we place all for whom we pray into your eternal care through Christ our Lord. Amen.